just a moment. Look at this fancy office. The chairman's bleeding the whole colony drop. I beg your pardon, Minister Clark's former office is currently closed to solicitors. I suppose that is admissible. Please try not to break anything. Not so fast. The Ministry of Accuracy and Morale is off limits to everyone without X-36 level clearance. What level clearance? You're just making up words. Basically, if you don't work here, or for Chairman Rockwell himself, you're not getting in. I don't know how you got that, but I still don't know you, and I don't have any new clearances on the list. I think I'm gonna start taking my lunches out in the city. That would be downstairs to still the cafeteria. That scientist? The one who's been pounding the clock? 
sparks? Oh, gives me the shutters, too. That's not... <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't talk. Not that sign of labor. Hmm? Nothing exciting ever happens around here. Hey, did Tillman get transferred or something? That's right, you weren't here when it happened. Some UDL officers took him into custody. Oh, law, what did they take him for? UDL's been questioning anybody with possible connections you see any to famous wells. And, well, them. Tillman designed all those wanted posters. Don't let the guards hear you asking questions. Or peeking in the back. Sorry, I'm kinda in the middle of something. I knew it. He's eating your lunch too, isn't he? That greedy little sissy pig. This is great. I finally have someone else to complain to. Do these people got nothing else to occupy their time? You get your turn. Right now, we're talking about Theodore. Oh, that's no problem. I can get you into the lab. In fact, let's go there now. Theodore's out right now, but we should be ready when he gets back. That way, everyone can see you chew him out. This is going to be so good. I need a favor. Think you could let my friend through just this once? After all, you still owe me. Fine. But I don't want to hear anything about the catch-up packet incident ever again. And she's on her own if she runs into the guards downstairs. You're the best, Holt. Uh, 
I'll wait here for Theodore. Just in case it comes. Nothing exciting ever happens around here. I hear about you ordering more tests performed with sample 4157. That batch failed spectacularly. I saw a variance in the results that we never accounted for, so I had the techs run the trial again. And the results... Let the record show that subject 23K's cause of death is cerebral vascular incident brought about by a rusty... I haven't seen you before. You're not a test subject, are you? Something's not right. Looks like we're doing it!
What was that? Saw something. I'm gonna take a look.
Captain, if you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. We've arrived at Phineas's orbital lab. Merciful gibbering law! You're a genius! 
We bring the hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space, right next to my lab. I don't know much about skip drives, not the physics, anyhow. I do know the Hope's real massive. How is our bitty little ship supposed to skip it? Excellent question, my sharp-witted mechanic. You will use your own ship to power up the Hope's skip drive. Your navigational computer can handle the rest. You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then, head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. Certainly. How can I help? Unlikely. The Hope is as massive as the Groundbreaker, but compared to the Rings of Terra 2, positively minuscule. The board might notice, possibly, depending on the position of their heads relative to the depth of their collective posteriors. Huh. It wouldn't surprise me. When I pulled you out of the Hope, the board nearly intercepted me. I expect they stepped up security since my little act of larceny. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers. Scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. Oh, it's not you. I uh, do experiments in that room. Some of them get quite scientific. The unexpected is to be treasured, but uh, from a safe distance. Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. Certainly. How can I help? Captain Hawthorne never worked to support the board before, at least not officially. I suppose we are turning over a new leaf? We have arrived at the Hope. I need you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system, so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. If your calculations are even slightly off, you could crash the entire colony ship into Terra too. Or the Sun. If you don't mind my saying, Captain, Minister Clark is lucky to have you on his side. Captain, I hope Dr. Wells has not dragged you into one of his irrational schemes again. 
My diagnosis of his mental stability is not flattering. Dr. Wells has failed to discover the tracking signal broadcasting the location of his lab. I have revised my estimations of his competence accordingly. Talk. What's on your mind? Hey, you're the boss. I don't know how we're ever gonna see eye to eye, long as you're working for the board. Why? You got a ship. You got the run of the colony. So tell me why you're bending a knee in front of the adjutant. I ain't asking you to do anything for me. I'm asking you to do the... Never mind. You know, I'd been assuming this entire stay on your ship thing. That said, you ain't been eaten or shot to death yet. Says a lot about the stability of your future. And to be honest, I'm about sick of sleeping on bars. So how's about this? You keep letting me stay on that ship of yours, and I'll keep shooting at the things you point at. Outstanding. You know, when they posted us here, I told them there wasn't any point. Nobody would be so stupid as to fly to the ass end of the colony for this derelict. Shows how much I know. You've got about five seconds to tell me what you're doing here before I make you take a walk outside. Explode? Holy shit! All right. You'll want a uniform so my staff doesn't shoot you on sight. They're a dangerous mix of bored and trigger happy. We've got a few extra in the old badge station to my right. Good luck.
Looking good, soldier. Unexpected noise performing an area sweep now. Work up this area error. Hope crew data not found. Identify yourself. This unit is not experiencing errors. Error. This unit is functioning correctly. There is no need for the intervention of mechanical engineers. Thank you for your cooperation. Can you hear me, Captain? I have successfully integrated myself into the Hope's comm systems, and am attempting to establish contact with the Hope's more primitive processor now. Would you like me to play a mood-suitable music selection while you travel to the bridge? Oh, sorry. File not found. I'm going. These were the private quarters of the Hope's former crew. Shall we hold a moment of silence for the dearly departed? No. That's odd. 
because my programming would indicate that when forced to confront the idea of self-death, organics prefer... Oh. Keep your I shoulders see. up. Yes. Never mind. Must be like coming home. That's the Hope's computer up ahead. I'll admit, I am curious to wake him. Finally. The sooner we jump this ship, the sooner we can get back to solid ground. Greetings, Captain. I am speaking to you through the Hope's computer system. It's a rather cramped feeling, but it'll do. Are you sure? That is extremely dangerous. Skipping the Hope will void the warranty on the skip drive. And also potentially kill an entire planet. How is my humor now, Captain? Improved? Jump starting the skip drive. Destination set to the rings of Terra 2. Worst ways to go out, I suppose. It's nice knowing you, boss. Doing it. I mean, affirmative. Skipping the hope in three, two, one. ADA, does your captain seriously intend to do a micro jump in system with engines that haven't been powered in 70 years on a derelict ship? That is what my captain intends, yes. But that is a gross misuse of the skip drive. The Zero Point Drives Corp and I will not be held responsible for any damage incurred during transport, and this will cause extreme damage. Yes, I am aware of that. You should not be doing this. The humans will die. Thank you, Hope. It looks like all systems are go. Captain, I would advise you to hold on to something, now. Good. We are still alive and have successfully skipped into Terra 2's orbit. I reported as much to Phineas Wells, but he has not responded. Perhaps you should check in on him. Ugh. I feel like my stomach's still back. That's where the ship used to be. I need a hard drink and a long nap.
Captain, I am receiving a transmission from Do Captain, I shall now play the transmission I received from Dr. Wells. The board is here. They found me somehow. They're about to blast my door open. I can't stop them from getting me, and there isn't enough time to explain everything. But there's something very important you need to remember. The board, all their lackeys, they're all a bunch of swine. Do you hear me? They're fucking corporate swine. You fucking pigs! I'll take you all out with me! I'll never... It would seem the recording captured some rather dire events. I presume you'll want to dock at the orbital lab to check on your associate as soon as possible? How can I be of assistance? May luck be with you. Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. But it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. arrived at Phineas's orbital lab.
Huh? Oh, I am alert and awake. Not to worry. Captain, as it appears we may soon be embarking for a maximum security prison planet, I believe the crew would like to speak with you to, as you humans put it, air some concerns.